YouTube. Today I'm going to make a video about something that I only really learned about yesterday. Um, I kind of knew that what I'm going to talk about today was a thing because I've experienced these behaviours myself but I didn't know there was an umbrella term for them. I didn't really know there were actual diagnoses you can get. So today I'm going to talk about them because it is the awareness week and what I'm going to talk about today is body focused repetitive disorders okay so body focused repetitive disorders include things like hair pulling skin picking nail biting nose picking you know just like a whole range of behaviors focused on pulling and picking at parts of your body in a way that is compulsive and repetitive and that kind of damages your life in a way it I mean, I feel like all people, like, depending on ages, like, you know, kids pick their nose and things, and, you know, these behaviours are used on occasion by all people, but that doesn't make it a disorder, like, just to use those behaviours on occasion. But when these behaviours manifest into a form that it is a disorder, it's because it damages and hinders upon a person's life in some way, it causes them physical injury, it causes them to like miss family functions, it affects their self-esteem, it could prevent them from doing schoolwork, um, yeah, anything really. And so I'm sure most people have heard of trick trichotillomania, is that how you pronounce it? That's hair pulling, so like you repetitively pull out your hair and that's the thing that I've, I'd say out of all these behaviours, it's the one I think I've like been through the most. Um, however like not for like the most time it's just one like I have more memory of and I feel like I've done to more of an extent um, so that, that started for me around the age of 13 and I didn't really realise trichotillomania was like a thing until my mum said people there are other people like me who pull their hair out because she was getting really annoyed with me for pulling my hair out. and like most of the time I didn't realise I was doing it until I noticed myself doing it it was that much of like an obsessive and compulsive behavior but I just I just did it and I didn't even realize as such um and I used to have like bold patches in my hair and everything and it was really awful to like try and cover up and try and hide and it was just like so stressful because you know I, I had had bold patches from pulling out my own hair at the age of like you know, like between like 13 and 15 um and I think for me like hair pulling was mostly a way of dealing with stress because I do notice myself now like now it's more under control doing it a lot more when like during exam season um when I'm stressed basically um so yeah that's like how I feel like mine manifested other like types of body focused repetitive disorders include dermatillomania which is where you pick at your skin. There's also nail biting, nail picking, which also have, you know, their own technical names. I've also been through like the nail picking one. I actually, I did only learn yesterday that nail picking was part of this, you know, range of disorders. I, I kind of thought I was the only one who nail picked, like I knew nail biting was a thing, but yeah nail picking and before you know I have picked my nails to the point where like I've bled and caused injury and you know it's kind of like why my nails are so short all the time don't know if you can oh now, now you can see my nails yeah my nails are always so short and although it's like more under control now I don't like do it to an extent that causes me any physical injury it's still a behavior that's very much there it's very much ingrained and it's one of those things as with all of these body focused repetitive disorders that it's really hard to get out of because it just becomes such a compulsive part of everyday life that you don't really realize that you're doing it and it's such like a compulsion to do that when you do realize you're doing it or you realize you have urges you can't necessarily stop yourself from doing it um i've also like been through like skin picking to an extent like i used to get a lot of spots on my upper, upper arms when i was like younger and now I have scars all up my arms and I feel like this is when like these behaviours originated from me it wasn't like necessarily when I 
well, you know, when I was 13 and my life was falling apart, not that my life was falling apart completely when I was 13. I mean, most of the things I was upset about when I was 13 seem pretty petty now, looking back on it. But no, these behaviours for me actually originated with the um, skin picking when, you know, I was really, really young. I don't know how young I would I was, I would say, when I started. But I, like, I remember my parents would always tell me to, like, stop picking my skin, but... There was nothing I could do about it. I didn't know how to stop picking my skin. It just it was just something I did. And I never really realised it was a disorder. I it was just something I did. It was just something that I felt ashamed for because, you know, obviously my parents didn't approve of it. They thought it was gross and they thought, you know, it wasn't right the right thing to be doing in people's people's view. And so I, I've always felt really ashamed for going through this, which is why I guess I'm making this video to raise awareness because there are probably a lot of people who go through these disorders who don't realise they are disorders, who don't realise that they do actually have a problem and they do actually have a problem that needs to be treated. And, you know, these problems can be treated. There are ways in managing, in which to manage body focused repetitive disorders through cognitive behavioural therapy, hypnosis or certain medications you know there are treatments available and these you know people need to reach out and seek help because then you know they'll cause less damage to themselves and their body and it's really important to not confuse body focused repetitive disorders with self-harming behavior self-harming behavior is intentional you know when you when you self-harm you intend to harm yourself you intend to hurt yourself you you intend to make yourself bleed or burn yourself you intend to leave a scar or whatever it is that you are trying to do with yourself when you're self-harming and body focused repetitive disorders are not a form of self-harm they are so far away from self-harm people with body focused repetitive disorders they don't intend on harming themselves when they're carrying out those behaviors you know it doesn't go through your mind when you're picking at your skin or your nails or pulling out your hair that, oh, I might hurt myself, I want to hurt myself because I want to be in control or because it makes the pain go away or because then I won't hurt other people or because I deserve to hurt. You don't think of it as intentional hurting yourself. The intention is not at all to hurt yourself. It's just a compulsion that manifests in physical injury which is you know completely unintentional physical injury because as I said earlier you don't you don't realize when you start that it's gonna cause you physical injury because that is so far from the intentions um so yeah that was like a 10 minute video just talking about body focused repetitive disorders I really hope you take something from this and people who do go through these and do resonate with this find some help and get treatment because it will definitely make your life a lot better i i've obviously dealt with a lot of these things on my own I, i've dealt with all of my mental illnesses um which actually seems like to be a lot what i have noticed is people don't of, often don't just have one mental illness they often have like lots of different mental illnesses that kind of interact with each other and mold with each other so for example when like I had my eating disorder I wasn't practicing in hair pulling behavior but when I had that un under control I was um which makes me think for me it was definitely like a stress thing but yeah people don't often don't have just one mental disorder if you're seeing yourself in this and you go for these body focused repetitive disordered behaviors and it's damaging your life and it's you know leaving you with scars or leaving you with bold patches or you know you're making yourself bleed because of it then please seek help please reach out there are people out there who do understand these conditions and who will give you the right help and support so don't be afraid of judgment from other people because it's it's something you can't help and if you do get judged by a medical professional then Find another medical professional who hopefully is a bit more understanding to your condition because that's what they are. They are actual mental disorders 
that need to be taken in a very serious way, even though they may not, on the surface of it, be as serious as other mental disorders. So, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on my other social medias. Links will be down in the description.